Happy 2024 everyone! It's January 13th and this is Tea Time with ADR Weibo Night Edition. Wu Lei and Lucy announced on January 7th at 1.01pm exactly that they will be attending Weibo Night in Beijing. Now Lucy was scheduled to attend the event last year, but ended up skipping it because of her grandfather. It must be another coincidence for them to make the announcement at the same date and time, down to the minute, on Weibo. It simply cannot be anything else. They also did a vlog talking about the event. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the video including subtitles for our enjoyment. Is it me or is the message almost exactly the same? So should we say coincidence number two? We have Wu Lei arriving in Beijing the day prior and head to toe black, Lucy on the other hand was wearing all white. I'm sorry but I didn't have time to go track down a video of Lucy arriving in Beijing. Lele will not be walking the red carpet at Weibo because he will be at another event in the afternoon. Here we have Lucy waiting backstage before it's her turn to walk the red carpet. Beijing is extremely cold in the winter and Lucy is shivering. She's wearing a Versace dress since she's a global spokesperson for the brand. Let's watch the walk. And what do we think of the dress? Lele skipped the red carpet, as I said earlier, but participated in the backstage Secret Santa event. Celebrities were asked to bring a gift and the gift will randomly assign a number and the celebrity selecting the number will receive the gift. Lucy bought a stuffed animal dachshund that went to Yi Tong, a Hong Kong celebrity. I feel Lele is in a good mood tonight, very active. And the suit and jacket looks good on him. We are finally inside the event. Lucy, now wearing a blue Versace dress, is being led to her seat. We see her making a stop and chatting with Yi Tong, who ended up with her gift. Lucy is seated a row in front of Chen Yuan, her co-star from Hidden Love, Bai Lu to her right and Dylan Wong to her left. Notice there's a seat empty next to Dylan? Who's that seat for? Let's wait for it. You guessed it. It's for Lele. So Lele was chatty with Dylan and Bai Jing Ting, seated to his left, all night. He and Lucy both chatted with almost everyone else at the event except with each other. Even when Lucy dropped something or is looking for something on the floor that they purposely didn't involve him. Do we see the question mark on Lele's face? He was curious but didn't ask. Of course the entire time I was thinking, Dylan why don't you drink more water and go to the bathroom? Dylan why don't you go walk around? Dylan, why don't you switch seats with someone? Hint hint, switch with the person next to you. Lucy here initiated her seal clap, asked by Lu and Dylan to participate but not Lele. Of course Lele ended up doing the seal clap after all. Finally! No more Dylan. But what did we get? Lucy and Lele didn't say a word to each other. Didn't move their heads, and did everything they could to not look in each other's direction. Zero interaction. Let's take a closer look. Here we have Lele clapping and did a 15 degree look, but still looking anywhere but at Lucy. Is it me or does Lucy look tense? It got interesting here for two seconds, and look carefully or you'll miss it. Lele took a deep breath and did a big exhale. How come? It's almost like he's trying to control something. Lucy, on the other hand, is as rigid as a doll. It's finally time for Lucy to go up on stage to accept her award. Here I think we finally have Lele taking a peek in her direction. It's like the only one we got the entire night. Lucy left early this time, when Lele left early at all the other events. She said goodbye to Liu Yuning but not Lele. She walked past him and they didn't even acknowledge each other at all. What the heck? To prove my point about Lucy being friendly with all her past and present co-stars, 
We see her here chatting with Jinji Yuan while waiting for the red carpet. We also see her chatting with Xiao Zhan, he sits a row in front of her. Now, there was a big commotion between Lucy and Xiao Zhan's fans a few years ago. But obviously there's no problem now. So what's my point? My point is something must be going on when they're intentionally not acknowledging each other. They either hate each other's guts, or something else is going on. I'm all ears. Tell me what you think. Until next time.